Peter Ablinger's landscape opera Ulrichsberg involves much wider space, a complete landscape around the village Ulrichsberg in Austria, with its roads, houses, forests and fields. All of this became the stage of his music theater installation. Ablinger 曾经说过, 歌剧是很多艺术形式的结合, 即便在过去的一百年中也出现了很多先锋的新歌剧, 但这些不同艺术形式结合的方式还是一样的. He would further say that he couldn't work within this system. He would just fill out a form with new sounds, but do not really create something new. 所以他决定把这种结合的方式结构, 进一步的仔细分别研究各个形式本身. 为了做到这一点, 他必须要放弃传统歌剧院的舞台, and he decided to go out into the nature, away from the old opera institutions and systems, and embrace this new environment. So there is no external story told within this artwork. The environment where the artwork is becomes the story. So This makes this opera also a kind of social project or experiment, actually. If you make a landscape your story, all the people in the landscape are also part of your story. This is of course lots of communication work, and of course an immense logistic effort. But anyway, there has to be lots of communication with local people, to get the permissions, ask for support, to make promotion and so on. 所以与当地人的交流与交涉后来也成为歌剧中重要的组成部分. The whole preparation of this opera from the first step into the village until the final performances took three years. The major part of the piece itself was then several days. But parts of the opera are actually still running. 我们来看一下这个歌剧当中的七幕。Peter Ablinger is a very sensitive listener. He does field recordings and listens to nature and our world with very unique filters. Many of his pieces are based on nature sounds. The noise structures of rain, for example. In the case of the opera, the sound of trees was the creative starting point. They have specific formats, volume and density color, and so on, depending on the type of tree and their individual shape, like instruments or human voices. So the the second act is a walk through the landscape. With a map in the hand, you walk through hills and the village. And you stop at certain places with listening stations. So And one station is also a walk by the trees planted some time before. The way you walk this way is the dramaturgy of this act. This tree music piece of the opera still remains today and is slightly changing its sound every year. The Ablinger says 
In the visual field, we are used to see even the most unusual things in an aesthetic way. Images from everyday urban life can hang on the wall or in every living room or waiting room. There is nothing like this with acoustic things. Nobody puts on a CD with car noises at home. I think this is because we still want to hold on to a fundamental and deeply rooted difference between music and sound and environment, and that we still perceive the latter more like animals, but only regarding to their function. No wonder we do not find them beautiful. If you listen to the recording of a sound, it has already changed its initial character. The recording process itself, the microphone and speakers change the sound, but also the new environment where you listen to the sound changes the sound on a semantical and sensual level. So every recording is the recreation of a lost original sound event, beside a technical recreation in a recording. There is of course also a form of artistic recreation or mimesis. Listen now to two sounds that are having a recreated here with a vocal ensemble. You will immediately recognize what it is they imitate. The fourth act is called Video Chapel. Inside a room, there is a three-world video projection. You can see portraits of 18 different people from Ulrichsberg telling something related to their life in their own dialect and their own natural way of speaking. All projections are in full size and made in front of the same black screen. Like music, they are cut into each other and create sometimes even funny conversation situations. There is Peter Böhmerwald. There is... Ja, kann man äh, eine Prognose ungefähr in 20 Jahren wahrscheinlich kalt. Gibt es keinen Wald mehr. Und zwar teilweise durch Überalterung vom Wald. Es ist hauptsächlich in die Kammlagen. Also zum Beispiel drei Sesselberg, Steinerne Meer, Blöckstor, ist derzeit komplett kalt schon. Ja. Und zwar teilweise durch Sturmkatastrophen, also der Kyrill und, und die Emma und wie sie alle Kassen haben. Die haben wir mal massiv Spuren hinterlassen. Und das nächste, was dann gekommen ist, das war dann der Käfer, der Burgenkäfer, der natürlich das alles kalt frisst. Nein, wir haben, wir haben ein schönes Flickel. Der Herrgott hat auf uns geschaut. <lacht> ja, wirklich. <lacht> Zum Beispiel, wenn ich Wisch waschen oder was, die lasse ich nicht. Und, oder wenn ich so um 9, 10 auf 8 noch einschalte, die Waschmaschine, dann hänge ich die schon zwölf noch auf. Die hänge ich nicht in der Früh dann auf. Die lasse ich nicht in der Waschmaschine. <lacht> Die muss nur aufgehängt werden. Das gibt Zeiten, da übst und, und du feierst mit dir selbst eine Party. Wo alle anderen schon schlafen. Du denkst, ja super, die schlafen jetzt, aber eigentlich beneide es um keine Minuten Schlaf. Das ist nicht jeder gleich. Wenn ich aufstehe, bin ich, bin ich fit. Ich bin total fit. Ich bin nicht, mir nicht, haben wir noch nicht gedacht, wenn ich aufstehe. Ach scheiße, jetzt muss ich aufstehen, jetzt muss ich bocken. Das haben wir noch nicht gedacht. Ne? 
Damit gab er keinen Stein auf und kein Fuchstum und Arbeit und tausend Ende. Ja, nein, das ist ja so. Weil, wenn die Arbeit nicht gefreut ist, sowieso, sowieso scheiße, dann ist sowieso gar nichts was. The fifth act is in real time audio sound installation. In a room in the village, with a window to the outside main street, there is a piano. Attached to the piano, there is a complex machine, connected to the keys of the piano. Computer-controlled, small robotic arms are pressing down the keys. The signal sent to this piano is a transformation from a microphone signal outside the room on the main street of the village. So the software is transferring all the noises and sounds outside into piano sounds, like a spectral filter. The audience has now a new way of listening to the sounds of the speaker. The sixth is called It is a project in the school. When the students use the third of the sound in the sound equipment, they use the sound equipment to perform different sounds with their body language or write some words to describe what they hear. The seventh and final act of the piece is a big feast. The seventh and final act of the piece is a big feast. In a huge wooden barn, also used for sport or other community festivals, there are installations and concerts, all linked to the other acts and to the landscape itself. And all the people from the village are invited, and there is food and drinks. The atmosphere is like a festival or holiday. So, 当地的音乐家与职业音乐家一起演奏其中的几个段落，有些段落直接或者间接的运用了这些录音。从音乐的角度来说，这一幕以及整部歌剧。都是用不同的方法来聆听当地的风貌。作曲家最主要的工作就是频谱分析，这样他可以使听众用全新的方式来倾听他们的环境。Ulrichsberger dances for chamber orchestra. 
Those pieces are based on spectral analysis of the videos presented in the fourth act. So let's listen to one of those dances. Aber Marmeladen habe ich, mag ich schon selber. Außerdem habe ich einen Garten, einen kleinen Garten. Bei uns gibt es ja auch Himbeeren. Himbeeren, Heidelbeeren, Riebisel, alles. Brombeeren jetzt sehr viel. Erdbeeren, Stachelbeeren habe ich schon gemacht. Und dann gibt es in, unseren, in unserer Gegend besonders gute Heidelbeeren. Und die Heidelbeermarmelade oder Heidelbeeren. Eingefroren, da gibt es viele Speisen die man eigentlich, ich glaube, ja, ich weiß nicht, ob man es im Stadtgebiet so gut kennt, Heidelbeerstrudel oder Heidelbeer äh, mit Kartoffelteig, äh, Wespennester nennen sie die bei uns. Das ist ganz herrlich und das sind, und meine, meine Großmutter hat immer gesagt, wenn es Heidelbeer gibt, dann brauchen wir gleich keinen Arzt. Die sind so gesund, das ist ganz was, ganz was Besonderes. Also, und da kommen, heute ist ja das ganz einfach mit dem Auto vor, bis in Genem. Und in der Genem gibt es im Wald fast überall Heidelbeeren. Und manche Jahre mehr, manche Jahre weniger, manche Jahre größere, manche Jahre kleinere. Und ich war schon ein paar Mal in es ist eine mühevolle Angelegenheit und es ist kein Wunder, dass die teuer sind. Aber es ist ein ganz, ganz herrlich. Es ist eine wunderbare Marmelade, wunderbarer Soft. Oder ich tue es gerne einfrieren und dann im Winter alles für, für Strudel und für solche Sachen verwenden. Das ist ganz herrlich. By turning apart opera as form, Peter Abling was able to create a less hermetic art form, an artwork that is by its form alone already integrative. What music education is working on in many different ways is created here by the piece itself. 这个作品需要和演出当地的社区居民有很多联系，作品的完成很大程度上也要依赖于他们，需要取得他们的支持。这些人不是短暂停留在这个地域的游客或者是来访者，他们一生都生活于此，没有人比他们更加了解当地的风土人情，所以他们才是不可或缺的部分。当然，如果遇上游客，也非常欢迎他们来参与。这样，整个作品在整个创作的过程当中产生了巨大的社会效应与价值。As we said in the beginning, an installation is something you can walk into, and in there you can create a situation of all kind, like communication with others or the reshaping of how you experience something you think you already know. 很多装置作品需要大量的沟通才能完成。有时需要有专门的演员或者是工作人员来做向导，有时也需要观众之间的沟通与交流。Lately, the term immersive is used a lot by young composers. This also means to include the audience into a piece, musically or with their full body and sensations. So maybe they're a part, a party that is happening in a piece, or they watch something as a guest, a bystander. This does not necessarily mean that the piece has to be an installation. Also, a more or less traditional setup can create such a moment of immersiveness. 虽然这些作品都极为独特，他们的艺术观念与实施的场地也都独一无二，但是我们还是可以观察到一些共性。Macro structure. An opera installation consists usually of several events or elements. They can be very different in size, from small solo pieces to large-scale pieces. The events are linked by schedules or cues. 地点，演出在不同的地点进行，可以把一个很大的房间分割为不同的空间，或者是在更大的区域内选择不同的地方。Orientation. The audience needs to get a form of orientation to find their way through such a piece. This can be a plan, a program note that is given to the audience, or There is a specific narrator, like a tour guide. He can be part or not part of the story, or the musicians and actors themselves guide through the piece, telling you what's happening and what to do. Or the location itself has information on how to proceed. Maybe there are signs, or there is anyway only one way to go. Sometimes it makes sense not to guide the audience and let themselves find their way. This can be part of a communication concept the composer wants to have in his piece. 微观结构，这是指整体结构当中的局部结构或事件，有以下几种可能：这些事件有固定的时长，要么只演一遍，要么按计划重复；或者结构比较开放
，可以长时间的被演奏，可以通过各种变化、即兴、提示来组织，或者观众想看多久就看多久，或者观众需要遵照安排好的结构来观看。The sequence of the elements or the mid-level structure of elements. The sequence of the events can be fixed or either completely free. This means that decisions can be made by the audience where to go next, or they are partly fixed. This would be a mix of both of them. In theatre and in fine art, there are similar projects. So you maybe encounter pieces that follow our observations at art festivals or exhibitions of all kind. Some aspects can also be realized using virtual reality tools. 所有的这些作品都有一个共性，就是无法在另外一个地方演出，即便可以，也需要重新改编，因为他们都是为特定的地点设计的，所以只能存在于这个地方。The creative potential this form offers is immense. There are pieces in a riding train, for example. So while inside the wagon you hear music and the soprano is acting next to you, outside you see theater actions happening in the bypassing landscape, or There are pieces that turn a whole building into a fake museum and create a fictional history around the place, and many, many more. These works often use the concept of the theater in the theater plot. Sometimes, some of the scenes can be created as separate works in the outside of the theater in a stage play style. Sometimes, some of the existing and staged works can be combined in such a large scale work. Also, also, ich habe immer einfach eine Musikinstrument gespielt, von Klo auf, und es hat sich aber dann einfach so ergeben. Mein Vater hat selbst Saxophon gespielt, und, und irgendwie hat das einfach... Es war, äh, hat sich einfach wirklich so ergeben, ich habe mich einfach immer mehr darin verloren, sage ich jetzt einmal. Aber es gibt einem so viel, und es ist so fesch, und es ist trotzdem, wenn ich jetzt vielleicht oft vergleiche mit dem mit Schulkolleginnen und Kollegen, dann denke ich, okay, also die haben schon vielleicht früher Dinge gehabt, die ich nicht gehabt habe, aber das, was ich jetzt erlebe, 